Falcon team. First time in victory lane, yeah. you lead all 30 laps to do it. Dominating performance, it's gotta be a huge weight off your shoulder to finally get here. Finally here and all the hard work is incredible and uh, at the beginning of the race we seen we were starting that pole and we didn't know what to change. We were tightening the heat, it's ridiculous and we made some changes and it helped to work and uh, yeah, finally flag the flag too. Did you find that the track condition itself changed radically when the sun set? Yeah, it did a lot. Uh, even when the clouds came over the sun there in the heats, I could tell from lap to lap. The lap traffic, the, there was quite a few cars in front of you. They heated the, the, the blue flag, they got to the inside, but you had that number 07 car knocking on your back door through the final three laps or so. Was he rattling your chain a little bit? No, I just keep my line, don't look in the mirror, and keep going. I know that you guys did a ton of work to this car over the offseason. How, how many changes did you make to get it quick enough to finally get the victory lane? Too many. <laughs> Way too many. So uh, we'd just like to thank all our sponsors and all the people who've helped out. And uh, I'd like to send a thing to my cousin Joe. We put a sticker on the car. He passed away in the wintertime there. I'd like to uh, put a shout out to him. This is a small family run operation. It's a homemade car. They run out of a garage in Keswick. A huge run, dude. The first one's the hardest to get. Can we get you back in victory lane next Saturday when the Sobble cars come down? I hope so. We'll show the Sobble boys what's up. Congratulations, dude. Phenomenal performance.